he oftentimes tries to retake the captain's position, and most of the time he fails, except for one faithful day when he got the entire crew together, and they all mutiny against me, and they shackle me up, place me in a lifeboat, and set me adrift. Now, this lifeboat had no supplies, provisions, and no, of course, rum, which was the most torturing. <laughs> the plan was to sail beyond work. And they thought, and of course Andrews thought, that the little sea creatures in the ocean and all of the sun and the heat would be enough to send me down to Davy Jones. Mm. Now, Captain Andrews, as he commissioned himself, arrived three days <laughs> later at Port Agotor. Now, old Port Agotor was established by a pirate captain named Gentleman Jason Williams. And he had established Port Agotor to be a safe haven for us pirates. So there's Captain Andrews celebrating the night away in Williams Tavern Inn. But then who should arrive at port but me? <gasps> and our focus gaze on Oscar Andrews. <clears throat> and I approached him as he dropped to his knees. So, you scallywag, you thought you could leave me tied to that lifeboat and sail me onward to the Dutchman. <clears throat> and begged for forgiveness. And I looked at him. He back at me, and I drew my sword, and I said, I didn't think you had it in you! <laughs> <laughs> and I joined in on the celebration, and we all had a grand old time. Well, everybody, of course, except for Oscar Andrews. Now, as well as sparing Andrews' life, I agreed just to devote him back down a first mate. Now, you may be asking, and a lot of people have asked me that, why would I do that? Why would I demote him and spare his life after what he did? Well, it's another le lesson of piracy, mates. You keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Ha 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 And I think it's time for another little ditty. One 